Okay, I'm here with the RK24 today, and uh, what I want to do today, I want to show you guys, I'm going to remove the bucket and put the bucket back on. So, uh, uh, they might tell you uh, it's pretty, it looks pretty simple when it's on TV or somebody does a video. A lot of times they put it on uh, concrete, uh, something that's solid, so this thing can sit on, which you're supposed to. That's what you're supposed to do because... Uh, uh, you know, the manufacturer tells you, you know, you should be sturdy because it could sink into the ground or it can twist or maybe do damage to your tractor. I'm not for sure, but, uh, you know, it's not always that case that we have uh, uh, some place that's uh, flat, some place that's, uh, you know, maybe a hard surface like concrete. We don't always have that. I mean, you might be out in the field someplace and you're stuck or, or something like that. You need to remove it. Uh, so what I'm going to show you today is uh, I'm going to take it off here in the grass. Uh, I know the main thing when you do remove these things, your tractor should be completely level, and you know also um, have plenty of support around it. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can. It might take me a few times to do it, but uh, once I get it off, I can put it back up on there. I shouldn't have too much trouble. So. Okay, let me go ahead and get started, and uh, we'll go ahead and remove this bucket. Okay, threw down this piece of uh, OSB board, and I'm going to draw the tractor up on it, and this is where I'm going to rest the, the, the back two legs of the bucket on it. Uh, since I don't have uh, concrete or hard surface, this is what I'm going to lay it on. So. Let me go and pull the tractor up. We'll get started. Okay, I'm going to definitely need to put these legs down. There's one on each side. You'll see how this works. It looks like I'm up too far, but I'm not. And like I said, I, I've lost a pin on this side here, but I, I have one. I'm going to replace it. Okay. I got one more on this side. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and let the tractor, the bucket down. Okay, now while we get the bucket down, we want to make sure it's going to sit right. So when I get ready to move this backwards, these all seem pretty sturdy. So, okay, the next thing I want to make sure is the, if these are loose. Okay, so I mean, you can kind of twist it, and then I'll check the other side. Yeah, they both sound pretty loose, so let me go ahead and pull. Okay, on the back side of this, there's a pin right here. Just pull it out. Of course, you definitely want to make sure you're not going to lose it. And I want to uh, pull this back a little bit. Since I have the pins out of it, I took both pins on both sides out. So what I have to do is bring the tractor back, and then we're going to unhook the hydraulic hoses. Now what I need to do is kind of lift this up, so I'm going to have to work with it for a couple minutes uh, to get it to come off. Now you can see I dislocated it from here. It just popped up, so that was really good. Uh, the bucket seems to be sitting there pretty straight, pretty sturdy, 
and I'll go ahead and remove these hydraulic hoses. Okay, make sure you get a rag because you're definitely going to need a rag for this. Uh, and loosen up the hydraulic once you turn the engine off. Just take your, you know, your controller here and just kind of move back a little bit and let, release a little bit of that pressure. Okay. Now these all quick connects here, and like I said, you're going to have a little bit of leakage. You probably need a rag for it. Another one. Okay, now, if I was going to store this for a long period of time, I'd definitely either buy some caps for this or, you know, or I would just go ahead and put maybe a plastic bag and put some tape on. Just something to protect it from the weather. Uh, you also, what's really nice about this one here is uh, they have their color coat. So they put these tape on here, and when you put it back on, uh, it's color coat on uh, the unit itself. So you're not going to get it mixed up so the hydraulic hoses go back where they, where they belong. And like I said, you're always going to have some hydraulic fluid. Okay. Now let me go ahead and take this and move it back. Okay, there you go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. I uh, got the hoses laid up here so they'll be uh, off the ground. Uh, pretty sturdy if I want to store it someplace behind of a garage or you know, someplace maybe a little shanty or, or a little lean tune or whatever you got, carport. Uh, it's nice to know that you can take them off without, uh, you know, putting them on concrete. As long as you got something sturdy underneath of them, I'm for sure you'd be fine. I've, I've done it quite a few times. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, put it back up on here. And I'll uh, see how I do the same, same thing as I took them off. Just put it back on. So let's try that. Definitely want to keep my rag. so far because I got to hook those hydraulic hoses back up. Like I said, they're color coded so it's not like you're going to get them mixed up. Okay. a little bit off here. Okay, now I need to do is line this pin back up here and here's our pins. Once I get them lined back up, I'll go ahead and stick the pins in them.
loosen these back up. This is just my bolt because I didn't have a, I lost my pen on this side, but I'll get one replaced. Do this side. Okay, there you go. There's the how to remove the bucket. Take it off, put it back on, and you don't have to have a hard surface. Uh, just something can make it sturdy in the back. I use uh, 7 16 OSB, just an old scrap piece I had laying around. Uh, come in handy, you know, so Okay, there you go. It's on the RK24 removing a bucket uh, Just about anywhere you want to move it, as long as it's pretty level and uh, uh, It's not on a bind. Okay, thanks for watching